Hello guys, I'm Adriana and today we deal with this no brand tablet that doesn't charge either turn on. After inspecting the motherboard, we have found this component damaged. There are two ways to locate the component. The first one and the easiest one is try to read the code of the component. There are usually numbers and letters that you need to search on Google for the component datasheet. The datasheet is a document that is usually used to describe the specification of the component. As a general rule, explain the performance and the technical characteristic of a product, material, component or machine. So, if you've got these numbers, it's very easy to find the component. There is a lot of websites on the internet from where to purchase these components. On the internet, we can find pages with a lot of information about characteristic of the component. Similarly, we can find pages with very little information, but remember that any information we can find can help us. An engineer who designs motherboards needs more information than us about the component and that explains why on internet we can find so much variety of data sheet. In our case today, it's impossible to identify the code of the component. So we have disassembled four, five similar tablets and we have searched for the component. As we have a lot of recycled motherboards in our workshop, in a very short time we have found the component. To remove the component, we use an air station at 350 Celsius degrees and 50% air. Most of the tools that we are using in our laboratory are available on mobile1.eu, so check it. If you have any doubt about it, please leave your comment above. Thank you. We can solder it in two ways. One is using the soldering iron tip at 350 Celsius degrees or with the air station using the same temperature. An important step is the cleaning process. We use a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. Let's check the device. Like you see, we've got good news. The device is charging. This was the way how we solved this fault. Here is Leonardo, we hope you like it and see you soon. Bye bye!